these these are new packs that I've seen. I haven't seen these on past FIFAs. They may have been there, I just I may have missed them. So we get a walkout with the first one. And we get a lone Fernando Torres. A lone Soleil. Uh, a Ferrati. A Locatelli and some. I believe the okay, so they are untradeable. Let's see if these were worth anything. One of them was. Let's move that into the club. Next up, we will open the 1700 coin one. Let's see what's in this one. We'll have to. We'll see if these are worth opening or not. So, oh, is this? This isn't the loan, right? If it's not the loan, I am very, very happy with that. If that's not a loan, I'm extreme. Wow, so happy with that. I, uh, I think that's like a 200k card. I really wanted to, um, to try him out. I have actually bought him three times, but I was trading with him, so I didn't get to use him because I was immediately selling him. But, wow, I'm so happy with that. Even though they are um, untradeable, I, I think I can use him for most of FIFA because... I'm assuming he's going to get at least two upgrades. Oh, we have more. I didn't realise there was a second page there. But it doesn't matter. We weren't going to use any of those. Not bad. Not bad at all. It does suck. They're untradeable, unfortunately. Um, that seems to be the way that uh, EA are moving, they're sort of, uh, I don't know, they're, they're, they're trying to um, keep as, as much tradable stuff as possible off the market, aren't they? They're trying to lower how many cards are on the market, and thus driving the market up and forcing people to open more uh, pay for packs. So that one's always apple. These are tradable, of course. Um, but I don't think anything there is worth keeping. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that, but it's fine. Jump into the next one. I hope that everyone is doing well. I, uh... It's been a slower week for me. I haven't been able to um, put out a video every day this con week. Um, things are super busy here, um, preparing for the move, but uh, we're slowly getting there. I hope that um, I hope that we can get moved in the next few weeks, and when that is done, I will have. I will be able to concentrate much more on YouTube. We did manage to go, I think, almost three weeks, I think. That's huge. I think that's huge. Um, as I was saying, we did manage to go almost three weeks uh, with daily uploads, I think. At least since the game came out. This is huge. I think he's worth a fair bit, maybe 70k. Let's have a quick look. 90k. About 90k. Massive ball. We'll keep him in the club briefly. Um, and we may sell him tomorrow daytime when the market goes back up. I think uh, all the untradeables, all the pack supply that's coming out, um, in the next hour or two is going to drive the market down. Nothing decent on that one, unfortunately. Um, let's uh, quick sell that. Is this the last one? It is the last 
so I'm not going to open them. Let's jump into our draft and get that done. We do have, of course, an ultimate draft entry, which we uh, we got from the packs we just opened. So let's use that and let's get into this draft. I just need to take a quick drink. So, the formations that we have on offer are the 3 5 2, the 4 4 2 flat, the 4 2 2, or let's just say the 4 triple 2, the 5 2 2 1, and the 3 4 3 flat. For me, I think it's a choice between the top three. Um, I think actually the four triple two is probably the best formation here this year. But I think I'm gonna go with the three five two. It's always been a favourite of mine and I think that in the early in the early days of FIFA the left back and the right back is, is quite hard to find truly strong um, options. Oh wow this is a this is a huge huge one. We're definitely picking Ginola. And as he is a hero I will say that I was unable to record it but the other day when EA accidentally released the hero pack for 25k I was able to benefit from it quite considerably I opened the pack I was certain it was a mistake and I just I, I wasn't sure how because I uh, I found out about it a little bit late I wasn't sure how long it would be before they turned it off so well uh, sorry before they removed the pack so I decided just to open it, um, and I got Morientes, I held him, and whilst I held him, I bought, I think it was like, 11 heroes, um, mostly the cheaper ones, because um, they were going for just, like, their lowest possible sell uh, price, and... Within 20 minutes, they were back up to close. No, they weren't back up to their original, but they were back up a lot. And I sold those heroes. And then I did the same thing again. Um, about an hour later, when people relisted, it was amazing. I just heard my phone vibrate, so I, I just turned the vibrate off. So let's get into the rest of this draft. I think as it came out with the heroes, I think I ended up making about 700,000 coins from it. It was huge. It was a, a very welcome... Um, a very welcome mistake from EA. I hope that uh, they bring out some compensation for all the people who were holding heroes at that time. Because that mistake really did screw over those people. Especially the ones that panic sold. Now this is an interesting one. Because we have Kale and Crouch. I think I would take Crouch over Kale. He, uh, he's lengthy and he just feels like a, a just he just plays so much better than his card suggests but we do have Harland here and he even has a shadow on him and Harland is absolutely outrageous in this game I of course have played a lot of games of Harland because um, of the ones to watch that we packed and I can attest that he is just outrageous. So, the choice.
prices, I think we're going to go for is the highest rated for a start. We are, of course, going to have to work hard to get him the chem. Um, but I think that it's worth the risk. Let's hope for a De Bruyne or someone in midfield that would help a lot. We have nothing here that really helps us at all. So we're just going to take Soriano, I think. Saka seems to be the best option here. Saka is another player who plays way better than his card suggests. CDM I am tempted to take Kessie because he is outrageously good do we have a better option we have Shaka of course he does have a hunter on him so his pace isn't as big of a blunder as um, it looks on the card we could just take a, a good player here as in Kessie or even Tonali, but we've already dipped into two leagues. I honestly don't think it's possible to get full chem with three leagues the way that draft is currently. I think eventually if they let you use the alternative positions, I think that it will be possible, but currently I think two leagues is pretty much as, as good as you can push it. It's different if we were just squ squad building, for example. It would be different and it's much easier, but you, you have to get very, very lucky. Uh, you have to have uh, really multiple players from the same team um, for you to be able to somehow squeeze three, three different leagues in. So if we went with Kessie, we could go with Kessie and just ignore the French league. And I hope that maybe we get a different striker. I don't want to play the cam that we've got. Of course, if we do that, then Ginova is really not going to help anybody. But he will have full cam on his own. And I really don't want to take Shaka. Let's take Kessie and see how it goes. Worst case scenario, they still play with their, their normal stats. They just won't get the boost. Tour 8 is perfect. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's it's such a good card. There's no way we're not taking it. He will help Haaland. It would actually be better, I think, if he was the Manchester City version. I think in this situation, Rodri probably would help us more than Tour 8, but um, Tour 8 is great and of course he links with uh, Kessie which is massive Matip could be a good option here or we could go in Inigo Martinez and hope that we can uh, replace our strikers again um, let's just go with Matip of our team on decent game at least we really only have one option here I guess Leno or Guaita let's go with Leno let's start with uh, this end for once there is Noya our friend our very good friend, Noya. Courtois is a possible start, so we'll, we will take Courtois, otherwise I would have taken Noya. Of course, it gives us lots of different backs when we don't have any. Seems to be the way the game is currently, unfortunately. Let's take Cardoso. Sanchez. 
Sanchez would be huge, I think, because he, again, directly links to Romero. So there we have our Premier League players on the full cam. We just need to do something about this. Let's see. Moonrain is not really an option. I might just take DRB because it's a decent card. Maybe we could have taken Delaney there as well. I didn't think about that. Of course we don't have centre midfielders here. So those aren't options. We could we could take Andre. Andre would allow us to sort of I think we take Andre here. Because worst case scenario, we can do this and then hopefully pick up a, uh, a League One cam. And we could do that and maybe I just sub Gessie on. But let's see what we get offered in these next picks. Gomez, no good. Skamaka, maybe we take Skamaka currently. And we could do that. Interesting. I think if we do that, then we may as well just do this, right? Just one chem less is probably a better player. Well, it's definitely a better player. We really do need to replace this cam, though. Of course, we can just bring DRB on, I suppose. There is Martial. I think that's probably a, a, a good option here.
before we go, let me show my team. It's, like, as you can see, we have 1.1 million um, coins. We do have some, um, there was a silver investment that sold. We have some players on the bench, on the transfer market, sorry. Lots of position modifiers still. Um, and in the team, currently we have, we're rocking this. Uh, we did complete the Rashford SBC. We also completed the Sterling SBC. And um, this is the team. We, we don't have that many coins invested in the team. I'm doing a lot of trading, uh, trying to make up as much coins as I can so that I can do interesting squad builders for the channel. We have this uh, Jason Park who just can absolutely play anywhere on the pitch. He's an incredibly fun player to play with. And as you can see by his price, this is a, a formerly 350 something thousand uh, coin player. And I managed to pick him up for 165 during the panic the other day. So we, we benefited quite nicely from that. That's a, a very, very princely profit we can make from him. If we do, in fact, end up selling him. I'm a Liverpool fan, of course, but um, back in the, in the zeros, um, Park was secretly one of my favourite players to watch. His industry was just out, out of this world. Um, I, I had so much respect for the way he played the game, as, as I do currently for um, another Korean in Son. He, he plays the game in a, in a very similar industrial manner. You know, he doesn't get involved with all the antics and stuff on the pitch. He gets up there and he plays passionately and he keeps his head down, he does his work and I, I really I really respect that. Um, yeah, so this is the team we're rocking at the minute. Um, we, we can obviously make some big upgrades if we need to or want to. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we have any other great players in the club currently. We have obviously the Doyong we backed and the variety we used a lot of untradeables in um, of course this Canate can go into the team right there perfect um, we use a lot of untradeables to complete the two SBCs I really do like having an untradeable a, a decent untradeable club um, because I, I find that just being able to have untradables there and be able to use your coins for investments when you need to. Obviously there's things like weekend league or rivals and stuff that you want to build the best team you possibly can for. But in, in general, I, I quite like to have quite a lot of liquid coins so that I can make lots of um, investments and, and trade a lot. We have this Simon Loan card. Um, we have this Schlotterbeck uh, ones to watch card. Uh, we have the Adams ones to watch card in here too. We have this Nunes card. And the Akate from the um, season pass thing that they do. Um, so the, the club's pretty stacked. I think I have almost 200 million uh, like club value currently. So we are still pretty stacked. There is like 80 plus packs currently, so maybe, I'm not sure if they're repeatable, but if they are, maybe uh, for the next episode, I will do a bunch of those with what we've got in the club. Um, but yeah, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped you relax in some way. Um, and until next time, stay cozy.